Assalamu alaikum, Republicans are holding US democracy hostage. The party is not simply under the spell of its current ringmaster, rather, it is pursuing a premeditated attempt to undermine the rule of law and supplant the democratic state. Written by Anthura Haldar. In 2017, just when the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus closed after almost 150 years, the political extravaganza of Donald Trump's presidency became the greatest show on earth, or at least the hardest to ignore. And now the criminal fallout of Trump's political highwire act has become the new must-see spectacle. The most recent episode came on August 8, when the FBI executed a search warrant of the former president's 58-bedroom Winter Palace, Mar-a-Lago. There they found more than 20 boxes of documents, 11 containing files classified as top secret, that should have been turned over to the National Archives. The evidence suggests that Trump may have violated not just the Presidential Records Act, but also the Espionage Act. The Nobel laureate economist Ronald Coase was an exemplar of this school. The perspective of economic efficiency embodied in the Coase theorem implies that how property rights are allocated doesn't matter, so long as they are clearly assigned and subject to negotiation. If you have an upstream factory that is polluting a river and a village that depends on that river, the party that values its own rights most will buy the other out. If the amount that the villagers are willing to pay to eliminate the harm is less than what it would cost the factory to avoid the harm, the pollution is economically justified. But if the pollution-related costs borne by the villagers are greater than what it would cost the factory to stop polluting, both parties will find some mutually beneficial financial agreement to resolve the dispute. Trump has boasted about how smart he is for not paying taxes. While in office, he turned the White House into a branch of his own business empire, and now he is facing roughly a half-dozen legal investigations, all of which power his permanent fundraising operation. Far from being blind to this vulgar spectacle, the Republicans are going along with it, because they recognize Trump's approach for what it is, the culmination of their own agenda. A circus offers spectacles that seem spontaneous and stunts that produce the illusion of suspense by concealing the years of training and meticulous planning that went into staging them. The GOP's political pageantry is no different. The party is not simply under the spell of its current ringmaster, rather, it is pursuing a premeditated attempt to undermine the rule of law and supplant the democratic state. The public must not fall for its faux moral outrage, cheap tricks, and chicanery. It is time to send the circus packing. Kutsi Khalij time.